Hey everybody, welcome to another Subnautica video. So today we're going to be doing another one of these where I'm just going to talk over the gameplay and we're going to try to get a lot done today. So some of the things we're going to get done today is collecting a lot of the materials for very late game once we find the Sea Emperor. So you can see now I grabbed the Membrane Tree Seed. This is one of the items. We're going to go grab some other ones later. But we're also going to do some exploring and doing a lot of work with the prawn specifically for the arms so we're gonna get I'm not well here you can see obviously the torpedo arm we're also gonna get the grappling arm the two main arms that you really need for the prawn suit so we're gonna find both of those but here you can kinda see me exploring so what I did when I opened up obviously my recording today I'll, well when I recorded this I was just like you know what let's play some Subnautica we're just gonna go completely exploring and I wasn't even planning to record but then I started finding these wreckages and I was like, you know what, I gotta get my recording software up, man. I'm finding a lot of these main, like, very important things. So I hit it up. Now we're seeing it. But yeah, this is one of the big wreckages that I found a lot of stuff in. So obviously that prawn suit arm uh, was pretty big. And later we're gonna find some other very special things. But yeah, we're gonna really focus on the prawn suit today. And this will get us prepared for end games. So obviously, last episode we found the, or not found, we made the MK3 pressures. We can go down to about 1,700. That is the deepest you can go in the game. These arms will help us kind of travel around in that lava biome. And here is another gigantic wreckage. This one's actually bigger than the last one. Um, here we find the drill arm. And around this wreckage, I finally, I found a lot of torpedo and drill arms like at least six or seven you'll see me they're they're just kind of lying around so i don't know why there's so many prawn fragments around here maybe this ship part of the ship was where they held the prawn suits but there's a lot of these just kind of lying around and you'll see me uh, a good maybe next four or five minutes is going to be exploring this but yeah this is an interesting wreck this is probably the biggest wreck another thing that we do later today is we are building the scanner room now the scanner room is very very interesting. It's not let's let's say it's not practical, but I think it's we're going to play with it a lot in later episodes. It's really interesting, but I will get to that obviously once we come around to that. And this isn't very deep. You can see up top it's only 234. So this is very accessible. I was really really happy I could find this stuff. I was hoping it wasn't super super deep. And I did kind of get lucky. I've been looking for the prawn suit and stuff like that for a good while. Maybe just as long as the power cell charger, which we got last episode, which I'm still thanking God for. That was, oh, you, you could have seen my face of like relief. Like, yes, we finally found it. But here are some more grappling arms. And there we actually unlocked the grappling arms. We finally found enough, which is really good. Now, the grappling arm, I think, overall is the most important part of the prawn suit. You could go without the torpedo arm. You could go without the mining arm. Um, but the grappling is super, super important because obviously you need to grapple things. And here we actually die. I really underestimated how much H2 I have, which kind of sucks. But obviously, it was like a couple minutes swim, so... I just swim back, but bam, rip. But even when you die, you still keep all your blueprints, blueprints, blueprints. So that's fine. We just picked up some of our stuff. Obviously, I'm already back. Power of editing. We come back in there. We're gonna check out the rest of this place. Now, the scary part about this is there is one of those squid teleporty things around here. I think it's a little bit more, but we actually with the sea moth we can't go more than 200. Which I thought I put that pressure thingy in there. I don't know why that is. I'll have to check on it later. But, yep, up on the cliff, what I expect, more drill arms. And, obviously, any resources, like, ore that I get, I'm going to keep because I'm going to need that, especially copper and silver. Now, I don't think there's any silver down here, but there is some copper. And that gold, I have a ton of gold. If you go into my lockers, I have, like, three lockers just filled with gold. Gold is not something I use very often, so I have a lot of it. But, who knows, maybe one day I'll find a use and I'll use all of it. But these arms are just all around. And I want to make some corny joke about giving me a hand, but uh, I can't really think of one. And we can actually go inside of here. I don't think there was much inside of here. I know there was like a little PDA thing down there you'll see in a second. And another part of the scanner room, I think. Yeah, more of the scanner room. And of course, we'll play with that later in the episode. It's very interesting. Honestly, probably one of my favorite things in this game. Although useless. 
I tend to like a lot of the more useless things in games, especially like if you look at like Minecraft, one of my favorite things is fireworks. They, well, now they have a giant use with the introduction of Elytra, but generally it was just, it was so useless, but it was probably like my favorite thing in the game, and especially in this game, the scanner room. I mean, maybe I haven't thought of a good use for it. Maybe it's very useful and I just don't know about it, but it's probably one of my favorite things in this game to play with. And we found an alien containment fragment. Now, I don't think we finished this. We do, it's only one. Okay, so we did make the, we did make the, no, it's only half. I'm wrong, it was, we only did find half. Now, I don't think we finished it, we didn't find one, but we'll probably find one in a wreckage later on. This was most of the wreckage though. I'll probably show some more footage of me just like walking around here making sure everything's done. But essentially, we checked out the outside. Now we're checking the inside. And the only reason I'm having obviously so much footage is because I think this wreck was really important. This was the wreck that really boosted us out there to advancing our technology. Cause especially with yesterday, how we got the pressure module. Essentially, since now we got the torpedo arm and the grappling our prawn suit and sea moth are completely decked out we could go ahead and kind of finish the game with these items now again i don't know why the sea moth is already at crush depth Maybe, i hope the game didn't get bugged or something but yeah we're just gonna check out a little bit more there's a lot of quartz lying around here and quartz is another one of those items that i do need uh in the last episode i did talk about going on a run for silver another thing that i actually forgot to mention is it was also a quartz run with a lot of these newer things, you need glass for some reason. I have no idea why you need glass, but quartz is very essential. The glass is literally what it's made out of, so... Uh, any quartz down here is very, very valuable, and I do have some storage room in my Seamoth that I keep it in, which helps a little bit. I wish they had bigger storage, but at the same time, it's just a small vehicle. It would kind of be broken. And I do look in these caves, but there's not much in here, so we're just going to get on to the next thing here. I have skipped over to the moon pool, and we're going to make the grappling arm and the torpedo arm, or the drill arm, not the torpedo arm, the drill arm, because the torpedo, although it's useful, um, it doesn't actually do much, essentially, fighting-wise, because with the prawn suit, you generally don't want to fight, and you could fight with the drill arm, actually, so you don't really need the torpedo arm, so uh, this entire time, I make a mistake, not the torpedo arm, the drill arm, and the grappling arm is what we actually need so let's get in here and we can actually test out the two arms welcome aboard, welcome aboard. yes i am the captain and that is the drill arm what you do and that is the gra uh the grappling arm so i know you guys have seen in my playthrough there's these big chunks of rocks that i can never do anything with the way to get those is with the drill arm of the prawn suit and like you can see the drill or the uh, grappling arm is essentially kind of like a hook hook thing hook shot kind of from zelda a little hook shot i always loved the hook shot and yeah it's it was it is more mobile than i actually thought it was when i f first kind of saw the prawn suit i'm like oh this is so like immobile but now that i when i play with it here i was actually surprised i'm like this is pretty fast i can get around places i even kind of fly if i grapple onto something and let go i kind of like go flying kind of like Widowmaker and overwatch with her grappling hook and then you press space to release it you kind of just go flying it's kind of like that which is kind of interesting so i was actually like pleasantly surprised with the prawn suit and when we go deeper down i'll definitely have to bring it with me it's going to be essential to kind of navigating a lava biome and here is an example of those kind of like big things that we couldn't do anything with well now as you can see here if you just kind of shove your drill arm into it it kind of starts breaking and a lot of the ore pieces fall out so next time i go on an ore run instead of finding ore at the sides of cliffs and just hitting them with my fist i can use this to get them because obviously i've never gotten them before it'll give me a lot more resources which is really nice and this wreck right here i'm pretty sure i've just explored it before that's why i'm kind of not going in there which is cool so let's go ahead and put the prawn suit back i think that is enough testing it's going to be really useful and here's kind of how the grappling works on the animals you could actually grapple onto things and hit them with your drill arm so things like the reaper you can actually kill the reaper leviathan and some of the other things like the sea emperor you can actually kill them the way to kill them is with this grappling onto them and just sticking your drill arm inside of them and i think you can kill them with torpedoes too but i haven't really looked into that so i'll have to look into it later but let's go ahead and put our prawn suit back that is enough testing this is very exciting because this will 
allow us to get further in the game. Now, here is the scanner room. I was actually fairly surprised when I started building it. I was like, thought it was going to be a little room. It's actually like a giant room all on its own. And what it essentially is, it's a giant, like, well, exactly what it is, a giant scanner room. On the sides of it, it has two bulbs that you can actually control. You can control these two little robots. You can actually pick them up and everything. And stalkers steal them because they're metal. They kind of look like scrap. And you'll see the inside of the building in a second here. But in the inside of the building, there's a little map. You can actually search the surrounding area for it. And this is like a normal building, so you do need to put a hatch in it. So you can see me here putting a hatch on it so I can get inside of the building. It has its own crafting station. I have its own little upgrades for the, I think, the drones and different things. Yeah, here you can see kind of like the little layout of the map. You could see uh, the cameras. And you could, you could go and search for different things you can see it's scanning it's scanning around the area here and you there's an entirely different fabricator here that you can make different objects and upgrades for the scanner room so this place i don't think it's very conventional like it's there's really no use for it other than kind of like small things it's not very important to the game overall but there's just so much inside of there that you can play with that really intrigues me and like i said you could actually control the robots and here are some of the things that you can make so upgrades for the scanner room and the robots like the range and the speed which is kind of cool we'll probably get some of those done in later episodes not now in later episodes and if you click here you can actually connect to the drone so it obviously it has a little camera it has its power and health and like you can see here you could travel away from the thing and it has like little pinpoints like copper ore you can go to and collect but this is super super cool Probably one of my favorite things in the game. It's just so interesting. Like again, it's not, it's not it's not really that useful to be honest, but it's just really cool. And you can go to the other one. Now I'm old. You might be wondering why I'm all the way over here. It's because a stalker stole me. Yeah, <laughs> the stalkers like to come around, ouch, and steal these because again they look like little metal salvages. And it's really cool. You can you can actually carry one of these around. Now I think you might have to be here to control it, and they have a certain range. So that's the one thing that kind of sucks with the scan room. It's not like you can check out the entire world because it does have a range to it. Um, and I'll probably never use it. But I do I do like this idea. It's a nice little concept. But I think this is the last thing we're going to do today, guys. We did a lot. The prawn arms and the scan room are two very important things in the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me if you like this format again. Do you like the live or this where we do a lot more? Tell me in the comments. But guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you like and comment as it supports my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.